Welcome back to Live Free, Live Wild. Got a hot tent, just got it. I'm gonna show you what it's about. I'm gonna try out this new uh, One Tiger tent. Just got it. Got a nice snow skirt. This is the window slash vent. I'm really digging these tie outs. These nylon webbing straps, really nice. It's got a sewn in loop. They all, all the corners have it. So, let me show you what this is. So this strap came with it. 
and it's got a grommet hole in each end. Now I'm assuming Watch out Pete, you're in the way. I'm assuming that you're supposed to put them through this hole. Just like the vent peg, these poles have a a notch at the bottom. And I'm guessing you tighten this up. So, I'm kind of digging it. I didn't know if I'd like it or not. Seems like it's really well built. I like it. So tonight, right now, I'm just going to go, I'm just going to put it up, show you the process of putting it up. And then tomorrow, when I get up, I'll, uh, after dealing with it tonight, we'll uh, go over it. And if I find anything that I don't like, if I find anything that I do like, we'll go through it. Do a quick tour. See, this is the thing that I don't really care for so far. Unless I'm missing something here. No, and I'm not seeing anything, any way to attach a post. I got some vents. You can open these vents up when you get your fire going inside. Okay. You guys are all the way up against the wall. So, I mean, it's, it's fairly roomy. If you're going to be using it in the winter, I would say no more than two people if you're gonna use a stove. Because all your stove's gotta be over here. But you could definitely get two, two grown men in your packs. So. And you got the tie outs for your snow skirt. So if you wanna roll up your skirt so you, if you're not using it. There's the window. I'm, I kind of like it. We'll see. I'll get back with you guys in the morning and uh, we'll go through it. This is from inside the door. dog slept here I slept there now I did have the window shut most of the night I got a little chilly last night but it's got a double zipper so you can take the zipper on this side all the way up to about right you know to anywhere but I just put it up to right there on both sides and left a little flap for some ventilation there's a ventilation right there. There's where the stove pipe goes through, the stove jack. I'll show you how these vents work. 
so you got one on each side. This is a rod that's in here and it's on Velcro. So you can put it open all the way or you can put it, you know, slightly open, however you want to do it. So you can do both doors open and you have your sleeping area back there. Now you can get a cross breeze. The way they did these tie outs, pretty cool. So, see how it's got a little kink in the tie out line? If you push this up towards the tent, it straightens it and you can loosen it. So, there's tight. loosen I like how they did that so right there you got an awning So now, now you can do this with either side. I close that side off. Say you got a lot of wind coming from that side or you know, whatever, a lot of sun, you wanna close it off, you can do that. I didn't know if I was gonna like this one, but uh, I do. I think one tiger has uh, knocked it out of the park on this one. There was a few small things that I thought could be improved upon. Like the one thing that I really didn't like is this. There was no way to attach this to the pole. I wish they would have done something with that. Now, I like the fact that it's a double pole system where you don't have one single pole in the center. I do like that. Yeah. I like it. I like it.
they have really robust straps, tie downs. Really cool. Can't wait for it to snow now. Live free, live wild. See you on the next one.